Hello, this is Mike Panaki with Network Protocol Specialists. And in this video, I want to show you a unique way to use the ProfiShark for capturing packets. And in this case, we're going to use the ProfiShark to capture on each side of a NAT router to find out how much latency it's adding. So let's begin by taking a look at our test setup. So if we come over here, we've got a Netgear GS105E that's been set up with a span port. So we've got our internet connection coming in here. We've got our span port right here coming out to port A of the ProfiShark. We've got this port right here coming over to this other Netgear GS105E. We've got the span port on that coming out to port B of the ProfiShark. And then we have this cable running over to our PC. So the first thing we're going to do is establish a baseline. We're going to capture packets on this Netgear and on this Netgear and find out how much latency there is just going between those two. After we determine that, we're going to come in here and we're going to insert the MicroTik router to find out how much latency that adds. So to do that, there's a very important step that we have to start with. And that important step is coming in and setting up the port on the ProfiSharp. So I'm going to go into network ports and I'm going to make sure that span mode has been checked. Span mode tells the ProfiShark to capture on both ports A and B and merge that traffic together as opposed to acting as an inline tap. Now, this is a very powerful tool when it comes to putting in line and capturing packets. But in this case, I don't want to bridge ports A and B together. Instead, I want to capture on both those ports and merge that traffic. Now the next step is going to be to come in and click on capture. And I want to capture a baseline of traffic. So I'll come in here and I'll hit browse and I'm going to type baseline and I'm going to hit save. And then I'm going to start capturing packets. Now that I've started capturing packets, we'll come in and I'm going to hit a website with the PC that's attached to that device. So now we're moving some packets through there. If we come over here, we can see that we've moved oh, almost a gig of traffic. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop that capture. Now that I've stopped the capture, we're going to reset our configuration and put that MicroTik router in the middle. So if we come in here, we're going to unplug this cable right here we're going to plug that into the internet port on the MicroTik. Then we're going to take the inside port of the MicroTik and plug it into that Netgear. We're going to unplug this and plug it back in again just to cause that PC to go in and get a new IP address. So now the configuration has this device that's under test in the middle. We're going to capture on both sides. We're going to measure the amount of latency that this is adding. So if we come back here to the ProfiShark Manager, I'm going to hit Browse, and I'm going to type in MicroTik HAP. We'll say 2, just so that we can differentiate it from the other capture we have in there. I go ahead and hit Start Capture, and I'm going to come back here to my PC, and I'm going to bring up a website. So in this case, we are going out and we are passing through that NAT box and we are experiencing the latency of that router. Now that I've captured some packets, I'll come in and hit Stop Capture. So I've gone in, I've captured on both sides of that connection. So let's go in and take a look at those packets. So we'll come in here and we'll start up Wireshark. Then we're going to go to File, Open, and we're going to open our baseline right here. And here we see the packets we captured. Now before we start digging too deeply into these packets, one of the things that we want to do is we want to make sure that we're looking at the delta time between each packet. So I've come in and I've ensured that my seconds since previous displayed packet has been selected. So if we scroll down, we can find that we've got some packets going across here. So, in fact, let's go in and see if we can find some TCP SINs. So I'm going to type tcp.flags.sin 
equal 1. And here we see a TCP SYN right up here at the top. And we've got some uh, IPv6 traffic going on in there. Uh, we see that, you know, here's a SYN packet right there. And we've got another SYN following that. And we can see a couple things. One is they're both using the same source port number. So this is the same frame that we've captured twice on each side of those netgears. We can see that it took about 1.6 microseconds for that packet to pass through there. So this gives us a baseline. This gives us an idea of about how long it's taking those packets to get through. So it's important that we establish a baseline before we put that device in the middle. This way we know for our test bed how much latency is being added. So let's go back in and we're now going to open up that trace file of our micro tick traffic. So I'm going to open up a trace and we're going to come in here to our second trace right there. We're going to open that up and we still have our SYN filter. So in this case we see that we send out our TCP SYN right here. So it's going from our internal address of 10.0.16.253. It's going out to that address. It's getting natted to 10.0.0.171. And when we look at that, we see that we have a latency of about 174 microseconds. So we know that with our test setup, prior to going in and running this test, we had a latency of about 1.6 microseconds. So we can find out that our router's adding about 172 or so microseconds to that traffic that's going through. Now, we can come in and we can look at our traffic going the other direction. And we can see that in this case, we've got a response coming back. And with our response coming back, we get our response and it takes about 155 microseconds to get that going the other way. So what this does is this gives us an idea of how much latency is being added in there. So oftentimes when we go out and troubleshoot problems, people point to devices. They say that this device is adding a lot of latency. This device is slowing the network down. Without a definitive way to be able to go in and measure how much latency each device is adding, we have no way of knowing exactly what's going on. Then we start using the S word and that should. That should be slow, that should be fast, that shouldn't be slowing things down. By using the Prof -a Shark to go in and capture on both sides of a device, we are able to determine exactly how much latency that device is adding. And we can then determine, is that device part of the problem or not part of the problem? I hope you found this video useful and that you get the most out of your Prof -a Shark for going in and capturing and analyzing your network to get to the root of problems quickly. Thank you.